This was a cool little commission that I was asked to do of uh, room 237 from The Shining. Now, I'm not really a horror fan, so it's not something that I would naturally be drawn to do it, but that's the art of what I like to do, is I create anything that anybody asks me to do, and I'll do it to the best of my ability. So, I saw this as a really good challenge. So I went for a smaller kind of size of diorama, because I thought it fitted that in a small acrylic box and built up the frame and the structure for the doorway hid the battery in the side there so you kind of have to just get a little screwdriver or something and just sort of pull the battery cover the whole side of the wall off but um, yeah it was really really good to do um, find out how to do that the carpet was cool to print that off and just use some sticky back paper to kind of make that effect um, really really good I made the mirrors in there using like a some sticky backed um, mirrored paper which worked a treat um, and I thought those were quite effective when you look through the doorway now the added addition was going to be the tricycle that um, Danny rides around on in the hallways and I thought well you know let's have a go at that so I literally hand built that and a bit of plastic rod um, and I used some like rubber grommets to kind of use as the tyres, build those up and I think overall I got the effect right. You can see the, the O-rings there that I used, I have a assortment of them, they're absolutely fantastic for like those sorts of details and also like if you've got like a bit of metal that wraps around something on a, as a detail you can kind of use them effectively in that way for like some ribbing or what have you. So. Um, so yeah, I always have those nearby. <laughs> They're really, really good. So yeah, you can see how like that all sort of plays into the build of this little tricycle. I love doing vehicles, so I personally loved it. My little shop there as well, on the right, which uh, you get a little look at. And you can see there, there's a reference photo of like the how it's supposed to look, kind of a model of it. And then yeah, there's mine all painted up. So I think it's close enough. And the finished piece I uh, thought really really worked well and you can see it all together there um, even the room 237 little key ring had to include that really um, and inside it's acry acrylic box as well looks quite good um, and obviously the light does turn on inside to give that kind of effect of you know somebody's in there or what's in there you know as you get from the movie So overall, yeah, really interesting commission to do, something different, something that I wouldn't have thought to do myself necessarily. Um, I know quite a few people have done like versions of their, their Room 237 and that, but um, this is my version, my kind of spin on what I would do to replicate that. And uh, yeah, you can see it in, in the dark, it's quite effective. <laughs> 